What's going on everybody? I'm out here rolling on the river. Today I'm actually rolling on this small creek. And you can see this is a very small stream with actually only a few deeper spots. So I'm gonna do some creek fishing, hope to catch maybe a rock bass, a warm mouth, some big sunfish, or maybe even a trout. I think they have uh, natural rainbow trout or brown trout in this stream. So that'd be uh, pretty sweet if we can catch a trout and uh, we're just gonna see how it goes. I did pick out this little spot that I see might be the only deep area in here. You can see the stream runs through this bend. And then over here, it's eroding itself out around this log jam. So it looks like it could be three or four feet deep back there. So I'm gonna try to hike in and uh, see if I can catch some fish. It'd be kind of an interesting landing, but I think that might be a cool spot to start. Let's roll. So I got my setup here. Just a little piece of a worm on a circle hook. Bobber sitting about three feet deep. Let's see if I can find my way in here. Try to be real quiet. So I don't squeak anything. Try to stand right up here if I can get away with it. And look at that. It's a nice deep area. Hopefully these sticks hold. I'm just gonna toss out in there. There we go. We got one? Looks like we got one. Oh, that one was nice. I dropped it. There we go. Got one. What is it? Oh my gosh. It's a, oh my gosh. What is this? I think it's some sort of trout. Don't get off, buddy. What is this? No! No! There we go, there we go. Settle down, buddy, settle down, buddy. That's a trout. Yep, we're gonna eat you. Nice, he swallowed that, swallowed it whole. That's what we were looking for, a little rainbow trout looks like. Nice, sorry guy, I'm sorry guy. We're gonna keep you. Nice little rainbow trout. We're gonna keep him and eat him. We got some dinner from Clear Creek. Sweet. Out here rolling on the river, and I just caught my first natural rainbow trout of the year. He's not too big, maybe about 12 inches, but it was really cool. He came out of that hole that I kind of hiked up into standing on that tree limb. And I would have put him back, but he actually uh, swallowed the bait pretty good. So it looks like he got a little bit of dinner for tonight. So that's exciting. Let's roll on. Hey, rock bass. Look at this. What a this guy. Wow, look at this. This is a huge rock bass. It's the best rock bass I ever caught. Yeah. I'm taking a video. Red eye rock bass. Do you have a measuring tool in here? I don't think he's going to be 12 
12 inches, but I do have a measuring tool. We won't, we won't use 12 inches. He's not even going to be close. He's nine. Just a hair under nine. Do you see the rockers? That's about the best fish you can catch in a small creek like this. Look at that, red-eye yeah, rock bass. hands over it a little bit much. Yep, there you go. Just like a red-eye rock bass, look at that. You got it on a video? Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah, that's a cool little fish right there. <laughs> and give him a good release. All that's right. That's the king of this little creek right here. It came out of that two-foot hole right there. Yeah. Right, can I have the phone? Right under that. I want that. So we're just leaving Clear Creek Metro Park here. And that was a lot more fun than I thought I'd have on a small stream like that. I was able to land two different species, uh, the rock bass and what I think is a rainbow trout. And I have a suspicion that this rainbow trout will taste a lot better than any of uh, the stocked rainbow trout that we have around uh, central Ohio. So that was a pretty fun day. I did hook into four trout total, um, but three of them actually escaped just uh, kind of being hard to hook and hard to pull out of the water in that crazy little spot I walked into. So overall, a pretty successful day, pretty fun day. And I think we're gonna turn this into a little bit of a catch and cook video so I can show you how I season up this fish and make it real tasty for us. But uh, yeah, fun day and just grateful we got some dinner. So let's roll on. So I just got back here to the house and I'm gonna show you guys a great easy way to clean a trout and a great recipe for almost any type of fish. It would be delicious and tasty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a very sharp knife and we're gonna take the trout and we're gonna make a cut from this fin all the way up the body like this all the way through. And what I like to do is I actually like to just uh, cut the whole head off because I'll probably use this for some catfish bait eventually. So you cut the whole head off or most of it kind of like that. Now, this is where you kind of open it up and use the head to peel back and pull out all of the guts and everything that's in there. And you can kind of use your fingers and just get this all clean from the inside. Pretty simple, you have to do it a couple times to get it perfect. You get all the guts and stuff out and you can save that for some catfish bait if you like. And uh, give this another cut so it just lays flat, just like that. So it lays flat. We have our nice little fillet like that. I'm gonna set that down and prepare it like that. This should be pretty easy to scrape the meat off of the bones once it's cooked, but I'm just gonna continue to kind of remove all the little pieces of blood and guts and stuff out of here and get it real clean. I'm gonna give it a rinse, and then we have a nice piece of fish uh, to cook. So it's as easy as that. So we just cleaned up our fish. It's a nice piece of trout right there, it lays real flat. The first thing we're gonna do is a shot of tequila. Say a prayer for the fish. So the first part of the recipe is we're gonna take two slices of butter and put them right there on the fish and then we're gonna season it real good. So what I like to use is uh, garlic, some type of uh, Cajun style, just a little bit light on that. So some garlic over the butter there, a little bit of salt, just a dash. onion powder, a little bit of lemon pepper, and 
just a splash of this Kingsford Cajun style. Then what we're going to do, we're going to come over here, we're going to add chopped onions, chopped red peppers, and then this minced garlic. I'm just going to splash it all on top there. Next, and then the onions, Look like that. Be a beautiful piece of art right there. We're going to stick it right in the oven, 400 degrees, and that's going to be delicious. Let's see how it tastes. So, here we have our final product we got a rainbow trout filet with peppers and onions, and we have. Mm. Uh, green beans, that was funny. <laughs> we have green beans and a baked potato. She's got a sweet potato. So let's see how it tastes. Mm, that's good. Right away, it's way better than the stocked rainbow trout that they stock in like Antrim Lake and stuff like that. This, yeah. I can tell this one's a wild, wild cod. Yeah, very flavorful. Delicious. Fresh. All right, take care. Well, the fish is gone, and I have to say, I wish we had more. I'm impressed. He did a great job cooking the fish, and uh, we can't wait to go back for him to catch some more. <laughs>